guys, we are discussing about glute training. Elizabeth, how has it affected you? What, how do you? How does it make you feel? Has it affected your body? Yeah, I was just telling Liv that for my whole life, I hadn't really thought about training my glutes. Mm-hmm. It was always about my quads, uh, biceps, etc. But now that I've been training with Liv and we are focusing so much on glutes, as you know, um, I walk around when I'm doing my you know, daily chores, you know, lifting bags from mm-hmm. Tesco and I'm like, engage your glutes, that will make the move easier. Mm-hmm. And I'm, I'm walking around and then I'm thinking, oh yeah, you know, I, I have glutes, I have to use them in my, in my exercise and in, in, in my walking. And um, even dancing, yes, <laughs> uh, I do Zumba, I do a lot of Zumba and it has made my Zumba practice a lot easier. Um, to, to use to engage the glutes. And I'm now realizing why Brazilian dancers, they are so good. <laughs> it's because when they dance samba, they isolate the glutes. They, they, that, that's it, guys. That's it. That's why Brazilian ladies, you know, they dance so well. It's because they isolate their glutes. Um, so it's kind of that mind-muscle connection, yes. isn't it? And that's what we do with the training. We're trying to get our mind to connect with the glute, to get it fired up, to get the muscles to fire up. Yeah. And uh, it's been transformational, I think, because it's made my exercise routine easier. Mm. So when, you know, squats, I think everyone, you know, dreads doing squats because they are so hard. Well, they have become so much easier now that I am not only using my quads, the top of your leg, I'm using also the back, my glutes. And now actually I need to to put a bit more weight when Mm. I do my squats, (laughs) which is good because it means it's pushing my my training. Um, But I'm not afraid of squats anymore. That's because so I'm, using, I'm using my That's glutes. That's interesting because the glute, glute strength will have a knock-on effect to all other parts mm. of your body, including yeah. your posture. Mm. So have you found over time that your posture's changed yes. as well? Yes, yes. Not, not so sure about the here, no. the top, yeah. but as I said, when I'm walking, suddenly yeah. I, am like, I am like, yeah, I'm, I'm walking taller yeah. and I'm using my, my glutes a lot more for walking down and upstairs, mm. you know, that helps yeah. you, so I'm less tired. Yeah. And, um, and if you think about accelerating your metabolism by building muscle, well, it's a, it's a no-brainer that the glutes are the biggest muscles in your body. Okay, so this is a little bit about me, but most importantly, it's about you. So we're all kind of the same age, we're experiencing the same things, we're all from backgrounds and we're quite motivated and that's the reason why we're here. So I got into fitness in my 20s when I lived in Australia. I absolutely loved it. I actually trained in textiles and fashion, funnily enough, but because it was that lifestyle of looking after yourself and being fit and healthy and outside, I brought that back with me to the UK and decided to be a personal trainer. I've been doing this now for 30 years and I absolutely love it. It's fantastic. I'm able to help people all around the world because alongside that I run a health and wellness business too. Now that has increased my client base by 70%, both one-to-one and also on an online basis. An incredible business to be in. And I also run a transformation coaching group. Now this group has been set up about a year now. I have been doing body transformations for some time, but this is specifically for older women that want that, as I said before, want that ultimate goal of actually transforming their bodies so that so the September goal is there, but in the summer they're going to look pretty good. Now the key here is food and the key here is training because as we get older, We cannot do what we did in our 20s. We cannot eat what we ate in our 20s. And our lifestyle changes dramatically. And quite often, we find ourselves doing the same things and getting so frustrated that our body is just not responding. And the big message I want to say to you is, if one diet worked, we would all be on it. We are all so different. Our menopauses are different. Our hormone balance is different. The way that we think is different. Our lifestyles are different. So that's why everything has to be individual and it has to be adapted. Okay, so next one. Let's hope I can do it. Yeah. Okay, so symptoms. Now, some of you may be in the perimenopause. Some of you may have hit it like me, big time. I hit it early when I was 42. I've always been healthy and fit, and I thought that I'd just ride through that experience, but I, I couldn't work out what the matter was. I was 
the fatigue was just phenomenal. Mm -hmm. So I would get up in the morning, the kids were little at this point, I'd take them to school, I'd go to work until about lunchtime when the fatigue hit. Because I'm self-employed, I could do that. But I was missing out on business. I was in the point where I would sleep from lunchtime, I would then go and pick the kiddies up from school, I would have to go back to bed, put them downstairs, get up, cook dinner, and then go to bed early. And this was, this was a rotation going on for a few months before I finally decided to go to the doctors and, hey, presto, what? The men I'm 42, how can I be in menopause? So it's going to hit us at different stages, and it, a lot of it is genetic, so whatever happened to your mother is probably going to be along the same lines as what happened to you. But how do we deal with it? So the symptoms, as you know, are going to be hot flushes. We've spoken about that before. It can be depression. It can be anxiety too. And self-confidence. We spoke about self-confidence earlier. How it can really affect you mentally and in the long term. So how do we get to that stage, from that stage, to feeling good about our bodies and about our health and about our wellness and about are generally wanting to improve. Okay, so lifestyle, relaxation. We are all really busy. When do we take time out for ourselves? When do we have a bit of meditation? I never did meditation before. I don't, you know, that's hippie stuff. That's not really, you know, I'm this fitness, I'm getting on that stage. But we need to have meditation. We need to have that time out. We also need to be reading things like Louise Hay, who does the mirror work. So feeling positive about yourself, knowing that you're beautiful, knowing what kind of person you are. And at first it feels quite strange saying I love myself in the mirror. But all this kind of thing is going to have an effect on your subconscious. Your subconscious then has a knock-on effect to how you feel and how you promote yourself in business and socially and people are going to be more attracted to you because you've got that energy because you're doing that self-development so as far as lifestyle goes rest relaxation meditation and if you're in the menopause sage is such a powerful herb so sage baths sage, sage infusion in the house i cook with it every day though i'm actually on hrt because i have nowhere else to turn which is quite frustrating with the gp situation where they'll put you on a standard medication. That's why bioidentical hormone therapy is an option. And um, at that time it was 450 quid for me to see the state of the art hormone therapist in London. So in two years time I'm setting up a charity for women to have access to bioidentical hormone therapy of doctors and GPs. So that's my ultimate goal. That's why I'm doing all this business, why I'm creating this online platform that people are using for their health is ultimately so I can give back and help people at the end. So again, that's the lifestyle covered. Now exercise. That's what I love. Okay, your exercise has to change. Who does weight training? Who uses resistance? Ah, that's good. Okay, so weight training. As your menopause goes by, you will find that your muscle mass decreases over time. In fact, our muscle mass decreases from the age of 25. We tend to ignore it, we go on with our busy lives. Now what happens when you ignore that is that your posture long term is going to be slightly folded, I would say. You haven't got that muscle density to support your joints. What we really need to do as we get older is use resistance training. Now that could be band work. You don't have to go to a gym and do it all with the guys, you know, pumping muscle. Not necessary. You can work from home, yeah? You can use resistance bands. You can use your body weight. There are so many options. You can use bottles of water, yeah? So um, I've designed online programs. I've got a YouTube channel where I'm actually showing people what to do because people need help out there. They need to know that resistance training isn't going to turn you into Arnold Schwarzenegger. You are not going to look very muscly. In fact, it's going to increase your metabolic rate. And by increasing your metabolic rate, you are going to burn fat. Hurrah. So that's the reason why I always use weight training. Obviously, um, food is an integral part of this too. So what can be deemed as healthy isn't necessarily going to work when you're in the menopause. When you're younger, you can get away with having a lot of carbs, wheat, dairy, gluten, that kind of thing. As we get older, we have to be very aware of it. Same goes with alcohol. 
When I say this to people, you've got to cut down on your alcohol, it's like cutting your arm off. <laughs> Come on, girls, it's only cutting it down a glass a day, then reduce it further to say twice a week, and then maybe once at the weekend. And the key here is not to binge, because our society is very much a binge society, where we tend to starve ourselves in the day, because we've overeaten the night before, so that's going to be sitting in your system, you feel full in the morning, there's no way you fancy a meal. Yeah, but breakfast is very important as is regularity of food throughout the day. Okay, so two thirds of us are overweight or obese, okay? And during the menopause, this means that we are gonna increase our body weight quite profoundly, okay? And another indicator is lack of activity. So our kids have grown up, we've actually physically slowed down, we're just not doing as much. So we need to be aware of that. I mean, you can get the little um, Fitbits now. They're really handy. A lot of my clients have them. So they're making sure that they do the right amount of steps per day. Um, so again, I've touched on loss of muscle. But also with that is the increased risk of osteoporosis and menopause, which is another reason why you need to lift weights, because you're getting blood flow to the bone. If you get blood flow, flow to the bone, the bone is going to be stronger, okay? And also, this is a good one, it makes you younger. Because the weight train, cardio will induce oxidative stress, okay? This is when your heart rate goes up really high, you stop burning fat and you tend to burn muscle. However, weight training will not, but what it will do is increase the blood flow just under the skin, your capillaries. Those capillaries that aren't often exposed to blood flow will be working. What that does, okay, you're going to have more collagen over time. It's not going to produce collagen, but it's going to keep you looking younger, yeah? So I know it's only a tiny factor, but it's not often one that comes up. You know, I mean, there's a lot of Botox that goes on, there's skin lifts, everything like that. Um, but I think that as women, we need to stay, my philosophy is to just stay as natural as possible, for as long as possible, mm -hmm. and then maybe, you know, tweak it when, when it all really heads down. <laughs> but that's, that's the way I work with all my clients. We all want to be young. We all want to feel in good shape. We all want to have that energy and feel mm -hmm. like we did in our 20s, and sometimes it's a real battle. But if we're thinking about using weights, we're thinking about doing cardio on a lesser scale, not as intense as you would. So that is really key. If you're doing intense cardio, you're going out for a long run, you are not going to burn as much fat as you would as if you had a structured weight training program. And ladies, don't be afraid of the weights. The guys will move out of the way, okay? I'm shocked more than anything to see you in the gym. <laughs> so yoga. Yoga and relaxation, I've touched on that, an absolutely vital part for us as we get older because we give so much all the time to others around us and our family. We forget about ourselves very, very often. We're all too busy to have that five minutes, ten minutes of just relaxing. Okay, so this is one of my clients who struggled for many, many years. Okay, so I run a body cleanse. Now, the body cleanse teaches us how to readjust our food. It's whole food nutrition. We start with probiotics that are active on the gut. The gut is your second brain, okay? Serotonin is a hormone that is produced in your gut. So often, if your gut is really sluggish and ineffective, you're feeling a bit low, and there is an issue here, it means that your serotonin levels are low and you're less inclined to feel positive. So how do we readjust that? So we have probiotics, now there's spore-based probiotics, if you know anything about that, it's 100 million CFUs. It's not a particularly strong one, but if we increase the dose every day, within we use smoothies to start with. Um, and we put the probiotics in the smoothies, together with greens. Now greens is a powder, it is your superfood. You've heard of wheatgrass, corella, and spirulina. So we pop those in there too together with a vegan fiber. All the cleanse is vegan. We're trying to get away. We're not saying don't eat meat, but just minimize it. You know, a lot of too much animal fat can actually hold on to body fat. So we wanted Karen to get the best results that she could in the shortest amount of time. She's been trying, she's been going to Weight Watchers, all kinds of diet groups, but this she found really, really worked for her. Now Karen is sort of perimenopausal, so we said to her, okay, so the best things for you to do is learn how to eat regularly, all right? Now, the reason why I use a shape at the beginning is because if I, if I wrote you a food plan, 
bikini fitness one, body shaping one, you wouldn't be able to stick to it. How many people can have four eggs in the morning, two yolks, four asparagus, and a whole bowl of spinach, followed by a green smoothie that tastes like dirt? Because that's generally what you have to do to get your body to, to just to kick fire it up again, so we're kick-starting it. However, with Karen, we use a protein shake it's made from pea, rice, and cranberry. It's all vegan, certified, and the products are absolutely fantastic that I'm using on the cleanse. The recipe book is all vegan. You have protein balls that you can make. The, the consistency with the diet is easy because the food tastes great. So um, this, is, this is Sarah. Now, Sarah was one of the most negative women I have ever met. Oh, I can't do that. Oh, I can't do that. Oh, I can't have it as a shape. Why, why do I have to have a shape? Well, Sarah, you need to have the shape because you're not eating consistently with normal food. So that is the reason why the cleanse is working. So they have shake in the morning, shake at lunchtime, snacks in between, and then they have a big meal, which they wouldn't normally have, consisting of sweet potato and chickpea casserole, which then full, fills them up in the evening. So they're having a big meal, but it's easily digestible. There's no animal fats in that. Second week, we take the shakes out. So we're not getting people to be reliant on that. We're just trying to get them into a pattern of eating regularly. You're eating regularly, your body's not going to hold on to fat. If you have intermittent eating, your blood glucose is going to be shooting around all over the place. Your body's going to hold on to fat because you're not burning it off. Okay? So... That's my main issue, is trying to get people to eat regularly, to be comfortable with putting more food into their system at regular <coughs> intervals, to be comfortable with starting to use resistance training as a basis, and also either cut or lower the cardio. Okay? So the Body Cleanse runs online, it is an online business. The one-to-one -one is the transformation group. All these women that really want to either step on stage or move in that group with the other women, and they, there's about six of them that don't want to, but they still get involved because they need that motivation. So we set up WhatsApp groups, we've got community support, and then there's the general fitness clients that just want to continue to get, let their body stay in, in shape. But yeah, so if anyone wants to do a bikini fitness show, you know, you know where to come. <laughs> I do hope you're not looking at me. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> come on. So I'm seeing it as a challenge. <laughs> That's what I like. So yeah, so it's menopause, it's transformation, and it's mainly about women feeling positive about themselves. So, mm -hmm. so I hope it was helpful and that you gained something. And if you've got any questions, do have any questions. Hi guys, I'm at She Networks with the amazing Emma Jane Taylor. Emma, tell us about what you've been doing. So uh, with She Networks, it's all about um, strong, talented, dynamic women entrepreneurs. Also strong, dynamic women. So it's all about women. You don't have to be at work. You could be uh, enjoying a, a personal life like someone here today was. They're not actually at work, but they come to absorb. They come to gain a lot from the real women in the, in the room. It's real lives, real people, real opportunities to improve who you are and engage with good energy to create better opportunities for your life. Yeah, it was a great morning. So we had some speakers up on stage. It's mainly about their businesses. Olivia about was the, one. About to help other women. And also, Emma ran a really good smooth event. So if you've got a business you want to talk about, if you just want to empower other women, then this is a lady to really get in touch with. Thanks, Olivia. So we have events here in Henley once a month. We have one in the morning, 9.30. We have one in the evening at 7.30. We're also in London now. We're in central London. Last month, uh, we did an event at the Albright, just off, 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 just off Oxford Street. Uh, so my uh, partner is Susan Cabrani from Eugenie. And we bring She Network to London. And we're looking to extend now into North London and create opportunities for women there. So it's a great, it's a great, it's a great platform for women. Yeah, and it's a great time to get involved. And this lady is, is really doing things. So oh, thanks, join Lydia. us. Okay, so this morning I have been online with clients, with women who have had issues with their health. So they've been through the detox and they want to take it to another level. How do they take it to another level where they have to then introduce it into their lifestyle? Now that is so important. This is not just a one-off 30-day love you and leave you. This is a consistent way of working also with your training.
Okay, so you've got training, you've got food, everything is integrated into your lifestyle. If you go off the pan and you go out and you have a lot of alcohol, the goodness that I've done, especially binge drinking, it is so bad for your body. Your body cannot cope. Um, it increases your hot sweats and it affects your metabolism and it affects your adrenals and your lymphatic system. It affects everything. So what you want to do is moderate the toxins. If you moderate the toxins, you're going to get the results that you want with your health. If you're stuck subscribe to the channel. I've got lots of information. Make sure you subscribe and you press the bell for notifications because if you don't, you won't be notified when I come up with these amazing, amazing lessons. <laughs> Have a great day.